Today is being called prepared paradise with a multi agency plan of attack unveiling brand new safety equipment. Many say is a long time coming. This is a test. one of what will be a total of 21 sirens ready to alert the masses if something is headed this way. It's a first of its kind in this area, brought here by funding from FEMA. The sirens are something Sue Brody says will give her peace. To know that if there's a fire at night that we'll get woken up and know that that's what the siren is about. When you have a, a disaster that is extreme in scope, that really destroys a lot of your communications channels. So we realized we needed something that um, could back up all of those things. Those in the area and really across the country still learning from the both devastating and deadly fire. This has been a of the Paradise Early Warning Fire. Fire safe councils handing out go bags today in the Paradise Community Park some small essentials inside, but really they serve as a reminder to be prepared. So evacuation routes are important. The thing about a lot of the mountain communities that we live in, there's limited access. There's one way in, one way out. You know, uh, during the campfire, Paradise had a great evacuation plan. The plan wasn't to evacuate the whole town at once. And not just preparing adults, but the children. This is Wildfire Ready Raccoon. He is the mascot for the Paradise Ridge Fire Safe Council and the Butte County Fire Safe Council. These new safety features, a cumulative effort. Officials say that if anything devastating heads this way again, they'll be prepared. In Paradise, Aaron Heft, KCRA 3 News.